Yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy Eddie Clutch here for Clutch Time Podcast. Got my boys T.Y.L. Fuego, J. Mars XO over here today. Going some crazy shit today on the podcast. Hope y'all like it. Clutch Time. You know, we're getting this shit popping today, yo. Talking a lot of crazy shit today. Get this shit lit. Get this shit popping. You know the wave. Of yo, what's good, guys? It's your boy Eddie Clutch. Come about off fight. I'll yo, show you the you video while he's talking. Let Keep going. Yeah, you know, like a, you know, like an album fight, bro. Like, you didn't know about that fight? I didn't know about that shit, bro. <laughs> Keep going with what you're saying. We're getting off topic. All right, so, shit, like, so, so what happened with the Manalpin fight, bro? Like, care about that shit. Like, that's why I'm saying, like, why y'all still, here's the thing, you know what? Off top of here, why y'all still give a fuck about that shit? Awesome real shit. <laughs> I, I didn't make a mistake when I did what I did. I defended myself, but why y'all still holding me to that shit? Y'all holding me that, saying, oh, I don't want to hang with him. He's dangerous. He stabs somebody. He crazy. He this, he that. Like, what the fuck? Wait, what? Y'all don't give responsibility to that <laughs> motherfucker. Y'all praising him crazy, him as a hero for the shit he did to me. <laughs> and I just defend myself, <laughs> this and that. <laughs> motherfucker saying that, bro. Yeah, wait, Motherfucker saying, oh, we don't fuck with you because this shot, bro. Like, fuck y'all. Fuck them. Fuck y'all, for real. Fuck Manalapin, bro. Yeah, oh, so that was shit. the case. Yo, he just dissed his own fucking Really, bro? Like, y'all fucking... All niggas from Manalapin are pussy. Nah, nah, yeah, like, really, like, y'all motherfuckers, were, when I was on house pussy. arrest, y'all motherfuckers were pulling up to my house, threatening me and shit, because y'all didn't know the full story. And Pix11, too, talking about, oh, we'll give the full story. That's why when that fucking, you know, the one black guy in the video, the, the bald guy saying, oh, reporting on the story? That's why when I saw him at a fucking Nets game, I fucking confronted his ass and said, that's why you guys are the fifth lowest rated news network in a tri-state area because y'all don't know how to report stories the right way. So what are you going to do? You're going to victimize an innocent person, making him look bad off some CNN type shit because y'all want to go get some high news ratings because y'all can't fucking go out here and talk about real stories because you want to get ratings for your fucking shitty ass network? Fuck Pix11 too. Oh God. And fuck this whole pen story. When I stabbed the kid with the pen, Oh yeah, you did something that. Oh yeah, low key, yeah. But now let me tell you, like, ate it in a hoe. Right? Shit, I'll tell you this. Fuck, I'll tell you the story, bro. Fuck. So, like, yeah. this was like. This is him. High school. I've never watched a fight. I'm not. Don't show me the fight. I am not watching that fight, bro. I've never, I've never watched the fight. Six years, bro. I never watched that shit, bro. With a pen. Nigga, bro, that's you. That's me. I stabbed that motherfucker, bro. Once a teacher breaks it up, the other students Bro, what? I didn't even see this. this is just yeah. An ordinary fight. Uh, yeah, bro. I stabbed that just kid, bro. You don't know what happened, bro? Alright, so, so basically what happened, bro, was that this had to have been, God, it's just going on six years now. So what happened was that this kid in my class, you know, it was him and a group of kids, and uh, they were just fucking harassing me constantly, you know, bullying me, talking shit on me, um, you know, it, it, it was it was bad, you know. They found out my number, found out my parents' numbers. I guess they went on like white pages or some shit. Found my parents' numbers. I would get like calls and shit. I would hear like you know the house phone ring at like three a.m. and you know they would pick it up and it would be death threats and shit. Like we're gonna come get you, we're gonna kill you type shit. And it, it, it was it was fucked up, bro. And for what? For no reason. They just hated me, you know. For no That's reason. They were just. Shit. I, I know. And they were and they would always talk shit like, you know, my one boy, uh, if you know if you know that one, that Ten Shots of Vodka song, Taj the Plug, he um I remember it was it was uh it was Christmas, bro. Like shit, it was Christmas and we was all chilling and shit and they made fun of his dad dying. Yeah. And they're like, Oh, you're an N word, hard R. You're, it, it was I don't even want to repeat saying this shit because I don't want to come off as like fucked up, but like that was some shit they were saying. They were like, oh, now you're now you're officially black because you don't have a father type shit. They were saying some fucked up shit. And I'm sitting here like, you know, the fuck, bro? So off some real shit, though, my mom got diagnosed with cancer uh, six years ago. Oh, shit. And so, of course, you know, I was all fucked up. I mean, we didn't know what stage it was at at the point. It ended up being, you know, stage one, which, you know, that's why she's still here thank the lord but um we didn't know so of course i was all devastated and shit you know people found out you know people were coming up to me like you know praying for your mom this and that but these that's kids it. like the thing with that bro like it, it's and so the kids i would have had to get back bro. so awesome well here's here's how the lead up happened so the kids started you know talking like you know talking i hope shit. your mom dies mm. talking shit like i hope she dies and what happened was that we was in a locker room type shit you know and Kid was talking shit to me. Um, Bro, stabbed him with a pen. <laughs> let, let me tell you how the pen gets involved. Let me get this shit going. So, 
he jumps me, right? So he jumps me, we go outside and shit, he jumps me. And, you know, I'm on the ground, I'm getting attacked and shit for no fucking reason. And, he, and as I'm on the ground, he goes, I hope your mom dies of cancer, I'm gonna piss on her grave. That sucks, bro. And what happened was that, so, I had a, I was going from gym to my math class and I had a project due, like literally, and I was late on it. So I had my pen in my hand, I'm writing down, you know, all these different, you know, answers and shit before my project was done. And he's attacking me and I had the pen in my hand. So my first instinct is that I'm getting attacked. I got to defend myself in some way. Yeah. I got to use that pen to, you know, save myself in this situation. So of course I'm using the pen and shit. I'm up on him. I just start, bam, punching him. and. and like some points it was one of those like you're in the moment type situations you don't even know what's going on your adrenaline's rushed half the time i didn't even realize i had the pen i'm just attacking him and fighting him in a sense of in defense not not really attacking yeah, but I like it, yeah. yeah like i have to defend so myself so when you do a punch the pen hit him and hit him in the face you know, <laughs> in in the in the so temple so, so you didn't stab you didn't attack him I, stab I stabbed him, him. I stabbed so him. not on purpose not on purpose it was all in defense you know Cause you know you gotta defend yourself. You know you're getting attacked. You gotta defend yourself in some way, and so you know fight happens. You know, and halfway through the fight, I see the blood coming down, and I see that I realize that fuck, I legit just oh my god, I fucking stabbed this kid, and so I'm like, sh and I'm there's all these race like thoughts Yo, racing man, through my brain right now. right now. I'm I'm sitting here like, what the fuck do I do? Yeah. So I'm like, I gotta lose this fight now. I gotta like, if I win this fight, he's either gonna die or I'm gonna get charged with some shit. What so what I did is, and I saw a teacher coming down the hall. Yeah. So of course, what did I do? I let him hit me and I fall back and I'm like, oh no, you know, type shit. So teacher breaks up the fight. And you know, my one boy Deshaun, I'll never forget it. Fight breaks up, there's like a huge crowd, probably like a hundred people are just surrounding us. And Deshaun comes walking by, my boy from football, comes over, he's like, Oh you tap shit! Tap what? Like, nah, he goes. Oh nah, 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 let me tap it. shit! I don't be doing no nah, stupid no shit. shit, bro. You're not gonna oh, tap it. Oh. Tap. <laughs> nah. So Deshaun comes he was over. He's just not doing that, bro. Man, I gotta tell my story. <laughs> so Deshaun comes over. What, what is what you doing, doing right now, yo? I got, a, I got a story to tell. I got some <laughs> juicy. Back, I got juicy info to tell right now. So. So Deshaun, you're tripping, bro. bro. <laughs> so, Yo, so, no more for you, gang. <laughs> you're bugging. You're tripping. Oh my god. All right. Wait, is this still rolling? It's been rolling. Look, look, it's rolling behind us. This nigga's like listening to Vegas. Yo, Vegas is hard. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me finish. Hey, this shit tastes good, but I just wasted about like five. We're gonna pulse. talk about this. Oh, he just threw it all the way down. Here's your thing. Let's talk about this thing now. Yeah, so, let's so actually take this shit seriously now. So, moves, trying to get up in you. Bro, should have done this story when it was serious, more like you know. But all right, we're dancing. Baby dancing. Her she really good at it, huh? Her she really want to get at it. Huh. Uh, we I doing a podcast? Yes, or? Things, maybe I just want to say. He's gonna have to I cut all this shit out. Like, all all I think we should just roll it new. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, just leave it. Not rolling new, like a whole new shit. Nah, bro. He I already was... got mad shit in there. Really? We already did. I told the whole story, and you're just like doing this, doing that. We gotta like. While he's playing my song, obviously I'm a bump to my music. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? No matter if I met the president, I'll still bump my shit. Oh. oh. <laughs> My own <laughs> oh That's shit! Love. Yo, look at him. He was getting lit. <laughs> he was getting lit. I'm, dead. I'm really some sexy ass boy. I'm about to sit on the corner of this bitch on the bro. Um, yo. All right, so we gonna finish the story? Let's talk about one thing. You feel me? I didn't even finish the story. Let's really talk about how we finna take over, bro. Um, bro, 808, bro. Y'all don't know anything about that yet. 808 is me? about to go crazy, y'all. 808. Ready for 808. They ain't ready for that shit, the whole movement. Who we got? I got the whole roster in my phone type shit, bro. I'm finna shout out all y'all right now. Shout out my whole game. Um, bro. Oh, wait, Quick shout outs to Fuck Vanna, Vanna, Gio Vanna. We got Jay Mars, TYL Fuego, 
Cord Drop. Shout out Cord Drop at Fuck With Cord Drop on Instagram. Feel me? We got nobody. Feel me? And I love you, nobody love you on nobody. IG. Shout out, I love you, nobody. We got, Nico, we got Nico the Real. Shout out him. Feel me? He fire. We got Young Vivid. Vivid Fire. Feel me? Got DeLeo. At the Leo XX producer right there, producer. best producer you could ever find. Shout out Vo, shout out Vo, that boy Eli, shout out fucking J J, J Pounds, Pounds, J Pounds, J Pounds, whatever you want to call him. Oh J Pounds, you know boy, that's gang too. Shout out, shout out everybody here in this room. Feel shout, me? Out shout out Eddie Clutch, shout out, shout out Smooth Smooth. in the booth. Shout out everybody. Of course, you feel me? We in his studio and we still shouting him out because we show love no matter what on the booth. So now, nah, but not Eddie. So talk. It's your video game. Yeah, yeah. It was my video, and we cut off, and we're talking five, ten minutes about some other shit. Where do we leave? We off? had to talk. Nigga was getting, was getting boring. Yo, the GoPro, I think, died, gang. Yo. Everything's good. I'm watching you guys. <laughs> they went off topic. Now I forgot where I was at in, in the video. That's why I said I wanted to do it with Griffin low key, but like, I don't know. Bro, Should we I... still got time, bro. All right, word. Let's finish the you story then. You can cut it out or whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, word. So I'll finish the story and then if I feel like it's good, we'll do it. But all right, so what happened was that. So this man's on. Okay, so now, like, so what happened then was I that. I should actually bring that. Yeah. <laughs> Go, bro. All right, so what ended up happening was that we was up in the. Uh, Where was I left off at? You know, I got off topic, bro. I think you should just go to the next topic. Fuck that shit, bro. Fuck it, bro. Yeah, y'all, y'all ruined it, bro. Y'all really did. Y'all really ruined it. Really it's shit. not that. It's just, bro. The way you was explaining was too slow, guy. Like yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It's a long. I got. I'm doing that shit with like, Griffin. How many, bro? How many minutes are we up on right now? <laughs> bro is talking about. I don't even know. What I bro do that shit with Griffin, about bro. What is that hour and ten mean? That means how much you got left. How, yeah, it probably says like 45 minutes. Yeah, hour. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know, don't know you, was, you was on that shit for 20 minutes, bro. It's about about bullshit. Yeah, no, nah, like in 10 of it was you talking about uh, 8 weights and shit. <laughs> yeah, bro, because you stopped talking because you started playing my song, so I had a bump to my music. <laughs> <laughs> 808 the movement. 808 moves. 808 everything. 808 guns. Oh, Cut out the whole fight thing. I'm going to do it with Griffin. Up, so you just wasted this nigga's whole storage? Nah, like, because we were talking, it was going it's good, and then you guys just like all the time. It's too late. I can't. I'm keeping that. Like, <laughs> yeah, because y'all ruined it. It's the wrong footage. Like, it's, it's still shit, going, right? Bro, it's still, it's still going. going yeah. Cause y'all ruined it. Right, look, we have a whole yeah, hour left. You over here complaining? What you bro? finna do? We finna complain about it more or talk about something different? What you want to talk about? You finna learn from the past or just cry about it? Like. Just cut it out, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. I'm, I'd rather, I want to talk you about it. You heard the like nigga a... who owns the camera. He's not going to cut it out, bro. He's going to keep and it and post it. you heard me last night, too, Fuego. Yeah, the call, right? exactly. Like, he said yeah, so then don't talk about it. Don't get off topic when we're on the topic. That's what I'm saying. You was on the topic, bro. Yeah, and then we got bro, off topic. Bro, we was topic. listening to you, bro. If, yeah, if, exactly. we was in, if you was, bro, I don't... And then we got off topic, low-key, like... Should have stayed on, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then this one's talking this, and then, and then you go from that you. to Bro, that. If you go back in the fucking video, I never said, yo, Eddie, stop talking. It's my turn. Nigga, you could have kept talking. Nobody stopped. No, you said, oh, he's listening like, to my song. He's listening to my song. I'm uh, waiting yeah, for you to stop. Was, I was bumping my song. You could still talk. Like, back on. And, and then you started talking about 808s and shit. Like, 808. Because hey, I pieced up my mans. I'm going to do yeah, it. Yeah, oh, God. Nigga, we're going to do it again. Right in front of you. On some shit. Like, <laughs> yo, I don't understand. That's bullshit, bro. <laughs> All right, you still anyway. had the whole story in it. You told the it whole story. It wasn't the whole story. That's like the first part. You got to you stabbing the nigga, bro. That was and then there's the part story. where he started crying to me afterwards and I got arrested. Wait, then I got No, like, keep going. Okay, so I think it was at the part day. Okay, so we'll, we'll crop it in. Okay, so then Deshaun, right, looks and sees this man bloody as fuck. Blood dripping down. I gotta find the picture here. I'll pull up the picture real quick of this man, bro. You got this, the picture? This I got a picture of this guy when he was all bloodied up. Deshaun looks and he goes, and he's a he's a funny guy. He goes, oh shit! Like loud as fuck. Oh shit! And that's when I knew like this was fucking this, this, something was up. This so Yeah, something is up. What's so <laughs> this was this was him <laughs> after the fight. That's when you stab, bro? That's Listen. when I stab, bro. Damn, bro, he got fucked up. He did. He so, like a school shooter. <laughs> so, what happened then is that, so, teacher brings us all into a room. I'm on one side of the classroom. 
he's on the other side of the classroom. And so the nurses are all accompanying him and shit. Nobody's asking me if I'm fine or whatever. I mean, I have maybe one or two people say, you got my, I'm fine. So he is getting medical attention on him. He's getting patches and shit like her gauze pads. What'd you drop? My phone. You're good, bro. You ah, yeah, nah. Man. So he's got, he got like gauze pads on him. They're, they're pressing gauze pads on him and they're giving him like legit medical attention. And he's looking at me. If you ever saw like the the one uh, the one Rocky movie when they're getting all the shit on and Rocky looks at uh, I think it was Drago. He looks like that way. They look at he's looking at me type shit and he's like starts crying. He's like Eddie, I'm sorry for everything I did. Eddie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dead ass. He starts like I'm sorry what I said. I'm sorry. Starts crying to me. I'm sorry. And I'm sitting here like Nah, bro. Like. Nah, like I'm not, I'm not accepting your apology. After all the shit you put me through the last couple yeah. months, like three, four months, I'm not gonna accept your apology, bro. Like you did it to yourself. You attacked me first. I defended myself. Like I have no remorse. Like I don't regret doing this, you know? So of course, you know, they realize that, of course you realize that, you, they realize that, you know, they gotta, they gotta separate us, right? Cause they're like, they, you can't stay in the same room. So, uh, Mr. Hine, he was our, uh, he was our. Uh, <laughs> Yo, he, he turned. I, oh, I'm gonna say this. I FaceTimed my fucking grandmother. I'm like, grandma, I just stabbed the kid. She's like, what? I'm like, she was actually babysitting my, uh, my, uh, my cousin. That's not my niece, it's my cousin. And I'm like, shit, this went down, like type shit for real. It, it was, it was, it was insane. Like a bat. No, this isn't Gotham City, but I walk around, I feel, feel like a bat, yeah. Oh my God. Stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> Shit, oh so, God. so what happened then was that, so our athletic director brings me into his office, and as soon as he brings me in, the principal is in the, in the room, and he looks and he yells at me, what the fuck were you thinking? The screams at me, what the fuck were you thinking? I'm like, and you know what the thing is, is that too? The fuck, so... And, and this goes off of the thing, you know, like that whole story that was going on now, like in South Jersey with that girl who committed suicide. She got beat up and she committed suicide shit. So what happened with that was like she reported it to she reported it to the different, uh, you know, uh, guidance counselors and shit. And they did nothing. Right. I did the same thing. I reported to the principal. Like they was they was bullying me and shit. I reported it to my guidance counselor. What did they do? Nothing. So I straight up looked in his face and I said, you guys didn't. That's a fact. That's a fucking fact, What did he say? Got a Latina, she calling me poppy, but I'm not her dad, yeah. Oh my God. So. No, I'm posting that. Oh my God. Yo. Wait, is that 333? Yeah. Oh my God. So what happened then was that, so I straight up told the principal, I'm like, bro, you got. Up in the ghost, I'd be fake. <laughs> so I tell the principal, I'm like, yo, y'all didn't do shit. Like, y'all didn't do shit. I told y'all for months that this shit was going on. And what did you guys do? Nothing. Nothing at all. So then they're like, okay, like. <laughs> yo, I'm dead. All right. <laughs> Take a thousand. So. They end up, so now what happens, so now what happens is that they bring me into the principal's room. So they're, they're moving me oh, each shit. places and shit. And now- You got caught? No, let me, tell, let me tell you what the story, bro. Like, the story could've been done by now. So, you know, the- uh, <laughs> Yo, I'm trying to bump some shit, bro. Oh my bump God, bro. this is- We could some bro some shit. So what happened- I'm trying to bump some shit. Bro. So what happened now- oh. I'm not even gonna do this shit no more, bro. This is too much. Bro, bro you're only holding back yourself. Gang. Because y'all are talking. I'm trying to tell a story. It's throwing Bro, me it's off. a little side conversation, bro. Like You do understand you're telling them the story, not us, right? That ass. Like, we're here in the video with you, bro. Hello, viewers. Exactly. I'm talking directly to you, the audience. Yes. Exactly. Not the people that are here with me. No, yes. You're talking to both of us, but if I say Yeah, are we relevant? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if you say something on this if I say something on the side, it's not you don't gotta stop. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, I get that. Bro. So Alright, so so they put me into the room and then my mom shows up, right? Because my mom was working. 
at the other school uh, at, at uh, Marlboro, and she was like, you know, um, like what what happened? This that I tell her everything, and she knew too. Like yeah, they was doing shit. Like she straight up told them. They're like yeah, we reported it, and nothing happened. So then we're talking. They're like oh, we'll give you a ten day suspension, blah blah blah. But then all of a sudden the cops came, and it was my football coach. My football coach was the one of the cops. And he goes, yo, we're putting you in handcuffs. You're under arrest. I'm like, for what? I defended myself. He's like, for, and then he's like, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. And I'm sitting here like, <laughs> I'm like, the fuck? I defended myself. I straight up told, I straight up told him. I'm like, bro, I defended myself. And he's like, well, we're going to have to take you down to the station. Gives me my right. And actually, I don't even think he gave me my rights. He didn't even tell me my, my rights. Didn't even tell me my fucking rights. Just takes me in. He's like, and so I, I'll never forget it. We're in the, we're in the front office, and they're like, "How are we going to sneak him out without anyone seeing?" <laughs> he spit. There's all spit coming out of him. So there's all spit, dude. There was spit coming out your mouth when you laughed. So fuck is wrong. So then you go to the thing. What happens? So they they um, <laughs> so they bring me into the station. The, the station, right? Because the they stations they. Uh, stations two minutes away from school, right? Yeah. It's, you, you could literally walk there. So they, they, they were able to sneak me out. <laughs> they were able to sneak me out type shit. And, uh, you know, they, they started, um, you know, uh, booking me and stuff, uh, interviewing me and shit. Like, they're like, you want to waive your right to an attorney? I'm like, no, I'm going to straight up tell everything right now. I, I didn't give a no, fuck. Like, yeah. I knew what I did. Fuck I that. knew what happened. My story was consistent the whole time. I was defending myself. He attacked me, this and that. And then, so then they told me, well, that's not what the video showed. Because I knew people were taking videos of the fight. So I'm sitting here like, what, what's with the video? And they're like, it shows you attacking him first. And I'm like, no, I didn't attack this man first. Like, no, I didn't, not at all. And so what ended up, I ended up learning was that the kids, because I remember at first when they first attacked me, I saw somebody saying, yo, I got the video of him getting, Eddie getting attacked and shit. They cropped out the video. They cropped it out to make it look like I was the one that attacked first, which was some bullshit. And I said, next if topic, that's it. Next topic, man. But you know what? Fuck that's this what topic. I'm saying, you know what? Bro. Fuck this. I'll do this that's with Griffin. This is a waste saying, of time. Bro. I don't even want to do this shit anymore. Fuck this shit, bro. How much time we spent on this topic? Because I I, y'all you know, motherfuckers farting in my ear, poking my. Fuck this shit. I'm done. I don't even want to do this shit no more, bro. I'm done. <laughs> bro, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong? Bro. Farting in my ear. I'm done, bro. We got. We were 20 minutes deep. 30 minutes. This like, is why I want to do 30 minutes whole, on one. That's why fight. I said I wanted to do it with Griffin, and y'all like I'll just do it it's now. I'm like, all right, 30 bet. minutes and 20 minutes. I didn't left tell you to do this now. There's just hour 20 on the. Let's just fuck, fuck this whole thing. Crap so all this shit. I'm not even gonna put bro. this in the fucking video. Fuck this shit, bro. Yo, bro, it's not that deep. All right, let's start again. Let's start. Restart the whole fucking thing. Fuck it. Bro, you don't understand. This is live on YouTube right now. <laughs> Hello, live YouTube. Fuck this <laughs> fucking bullshit, bro. <laughs> My buddy's telling me, I'll do the fight. It'll be great. I said, I'll wait for Griffin. Yeah, I'll yeah, do yeah, it yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free content. Yo. <laughs> this thing is stupid. Yo, game. Fuck this shit, bro. <laughs> Fuck it's, this. Yo, yo, it's never that deep, bro. Yeah. I'm not saying it's deep. I'm just saying straight up, like, y'all saying to do it, but now it's like, next topic, like, we wanted to do the fight. We're going to do the fight. You gotta deal with the fact that it's a long ass story. All right, what's the next topic? Let me see this shit. Let, let me right, pick the next topic. Let's pick the next topic. Let, first topic. I'm not even. Let's talk about up. look, cause I I didn't write this list. You feel me? He did, but he wrote down. Uh, let's talk about TikTok Chinese government. All right, let's start off again. All okay, right, everyone, sit down. Let's get into place. Yo. Because that, I don't that even fight, know because that fight story is gonna be for Griffin. Next right episode, now, I'm having Griffin here, and I'm gonna have a Griffin. Bro, all this shit, y'all tuning going, in bro. to something. Everything though. about the fight is gonna be uploaded. Nah, bro, because I got it with Griffin now. Nah, bro. He told well, that's me, what bro, happens. You're you, saying, you're saying, oh, we'll do it, and then we bro, fucking do this it. And y'all all in one video. The man himself is telling you, bro, that he's gonna post the video. Well, then if you say we're gonna do it, we gotta do it, and now we're not getting on top it. You yeah, stopped. we was doing it. And I was always oh, too long. You're doing this. It's fucking bullshit, bro. Yeah, you was you was low key a little bit too. That's long. the point. We were gonna do the whole podcast on the fight. What? 
Oh, you, didn't, you ain't say all that, bro. You that's what we were saying. Like, you want to do the podcast on the fight? And he says, no, yeah, let's do bro, it on the fight. Lie. You wrote down ideas for That's what we said. We wrote down ideas, and then we said that. don't have enough patience for that. I can't listen to you talk for that. Like, I need something different, bro. Like... That's why he's getting mad at us for not trying to like, you feel me? You just spent 30 minutes fucking... That was what we were going... stabbing somebody with a pen for 30 minutes, bro. Well, it really was 30, because 20 of it was, you know, fucking... Just start. Start on something else. Alright, let's restart the whole thing. What's up, guys? It's your boy. I'm saying start on something else now, because we're, like, just bitching and playing, but that whole... Whatever's recording is... Keep it. Fuck, I don't want to keep that shit though. Like low key. Well, that's like, what it is, man. Look, we already here. This, Let's talk about the fucking Chinese oh, TikTok. Let's talk about the, talk about the Chinese bro. TikTok. Fucking bullshit, bro. I'm leaving after this. I'm done. Bro. Yo, bro, calm Fuck down. This, bro, really, bro. You better get me tight up in this. Bro. I'm tight as fuck. Yo, right TikTok now. Chinese government. For what? We could we could get a new topic in. Yeah, but I don't want to put this shit up there. Yeah, like, you've been. Big, I ain't gonna lie, like. Actually, all disrespect, you've been bitching, bro. I am, because like, I'm trying to get your structure. You know what I'm saying? We're spending 20, like, we're spending like, 40 like, I was minutes the same now with, and there, and we're spending, was, we're talking, we're just... What's wrong? <laughs> I was spending it respectfully, but no, the fuck The content is as up bitching right now. Oh, this nigga is eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching right, look, all through the, TV, the, you the, do, the glass screen. Don't get tight at me. See you on TV. I'm gonna lie. Cause you said let's do the fight and then we do the fight and then it's all talking. Yeah, but you talking about the whole the podcast? That's what we were doing. We, I no, thought that's we what we were doing, doing. bro. We, the, the Why the fight? fuck would we have a whole podcast about you stabbing it's somebody? Because it's a big. It uh, it's a. It, it, it gets people's attention. Everyone talks about that shit still. Nobody talks about. Everyone that shit. talks about that. Do y'all talk no, about no, it? Yeah, because when I go around shit, people no, really be bringing that shit up. That shit was three years, four, probably four years ago, gang. People talk about that shit still. That shit when I was like probably still in Brooklyn, bro. Yeah, and people still give a fuck about it. Years ago. And motherfuckers still give a fuck about it. It was almost a decade it. ago, bro. And like, motherfuckers no, still bro. care about that, that shit. It was eight well, years ago. And motherfuckers still care. I don't want to talk about this shit no more. If motherfuckers are still bringing up shit that happened six years ago and care about it enough, y'all got no lives and you got me on your fucking mind. And you know what? I love being on your fucking mind. I love being an attention whore with that Yo. shit, bro. But respectfully, you know what? I'm on some Jmar shit. Disrespectfully, suck my dick. <laughs> Yeah, on the bros. Yeah, that's it. That's some shit. That's good content right Next there. Next topic. Yeah, Next what? topic. Let's talk right. about. Let's talk about this core core shit. And shout out the core drop. But this ain't about you. We're not dropping you or anything for this shit. But this is some core core shit. Some TikTok shit. Some TikTok. Listen, I don't respectfully to TikTok and all the Chinese people out in China making this. Amazing app, you know, I guess it's amazing. I don't use TikTok. I'm not a TikTok guy, but I see a lot of these people out here always on TikTok, especially these girls, bro, always swiping through these TikToks nonstop, eight hours a day. You know, that's a job right there. Just eight hours swiping, swiping, doing content. Let me go on TikTok. TikTok. I never got the hype for it, but now they're saying it's this thing called core core or something where it's like, it's becoming like a type disease type shit where you're just an addiction. You're just swiping through shit all the time. And it's really the algorithm. I've heard it's like the algorithm. They know what you want to watch. So they're going to put a video there. Like let's It's almost say, like a loophole. You get yeah. trapped in a loophole type shit. Like let's say, let's, say, let's say one video is about your favorite rapper. Like let's say, I don't know, like a, like a, 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 well, bro, a Sofago type video. Bro, bro, bro. They'll do a Sofago. Then let's say your favorite sports team is the Yankees. They'll do a Yankees video. Bro, and then back already, and forth. Bro, TikTok, I'm, I'm bro, trying to... Your you page is based off of I know, shit that you... I know. I'm, 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 I'm explaining it to the audience, you know, what, what this thing is. And now they're doing it on purpose. And now it's becoming a disease type thing. So I don't know what y'all think about this, but like it, it's bro, I think getting out of hand. Real, you know? And I think that shit is fucking in his head up. But I still do use TikTok to get y'all, y'all's attention. Because y'all gonna be my... Yeah, because at the end of the day, too, like... I don't know. I have mixed feelings about TikTok, bro. Yeah, like... I, I feel like TikTok is a good way to really stand out in a different way, you know what I mean? You want to know what I think, like, TikTok kind of, like, did, like, for this new, like, wave of music, bro? TikTok really fucking shortened, like, the attention span of people. That's what we were talking about in the car, because that's... That's why... Hold on. Facts. That's... Bro, that's why all these songs... Bro... Like years ago, minutes. look, and this is facts, bro. Yeah, years ago, ago, songs used to be five minutes. Songs minutes. used to be five minutes, like a hook, fucking and even three like an intro hook, three like verses, two, a bridge, two to three verses, bro. Two a bridge to three verses. and then an outro. Exactly. Now you have what was fucking reparations. Reparations is really like a fifty second song. Yeah. But that shit went crazy on TikTok. That's all these songs are like a minute and what thirty. 
I see songs that are like 50 something seconds, bro. And it's just because like, you feel me? Like that shit has replay value. People are just going to keep bumping that shit. Yeah, exactly. It's smart. It's and, smart in so many ways. And, and when bro. you think about it too, like we were just, we were literally, we were just talking about this in the car with that one song. I'm like, but that song is over already. Cause here's the thing, you know, and it goes back to the whole thing with this whole algorithm, this and that their attention spans are so short. They want things that are going to be short. So now when it comes to me as an artist who, you know, is learning from TikTok, learning from these new waves, how to be, you know, productive in the industry now, you got to learn that, look, you got to sacrifice these four minute songs. You got to go from, you know, four to two. And it's easier on me, actually. Now that I think about it, it's like, I don't have to write as much lyrics, write another verse, this, that. And what's crazy too is that everyone says, this is like some Chinese government shit. Cause you know, TikTok is owned by the Chinese and, um, you know, when it's owned by the Chinese, you know, you don't know what information they're getting from us. Are the Chinese really the ones doing these for you pages to see what Americans are doing to get to us? So when if they ever want to, you know, attack us or do stuff to fuck with us, that shit, that shit, it's, it's kind of scary when you think about it, because they could be getting info from us and, and really fucking with us here. You know, you never know. Well, you know, China, like China, like their technology and shit is like hella more advanced than us. Exactly. Way more. Because they could, they could look at someone's For You page and say, this is what they're doing. Let's use that to brainwash the media and have them thinking this and that. That's why now with Biden, you know, Biden has the final say on whether or not to ban TikTok in America. And of course, you know, TikTok being very liberal, I feel, you know, Biden's not going to ban it because they're gonna, he wants that social media to, you know, prove him, especially for the election coming up. But like, if you have somebody like, you know, Trump or a Republican in there, they may just be straight shooter. Like, look. Our we put our country first rather than other shit. We don't want these motherfuckers tracking us. So let's not have them track us. Let's delete it. I know motherfuckers are going to be mad, but I'd rather be have a safe country than have this shit. Because look, you see this shit with the balloon? They had China have that yeah, what balloon. What even was that? So China had a balloon and it was tracking all these like different information on us. They were like basically spying on us. It was, was a spy a balloon. Fact, though? It was, yeah. Mm. It was a spy it balloon type. Like, it was a weather balloon. It, it wasn't it, a, like, that's a weather saying. balloon. Like, there was, there if that's weather just a conspiracy, like I'm not believing. It's not shit conspiracy, bro. They're they're, 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 invest, they're investigating because you know what it is. They let they and here's the thing. Why don't you pop that shit right away? Like if you're if you're somebody in office and because, you're sent, because bro, what if they pop that shit and that shit's a fucking nuclear bomb? It's not a nuclear. Like, they the they would have known. They would have known. Exactly. Like no, they waited until it hit the end of the United States to do that shit. They, they couldn't do that in the middle of the fields and shit because it was an open fields. Like, nobody would have gotten harmed. And, and when they opened it, nothing. So that's why I'm saying, like, look, you look at the country, it's like, I don't know they, what they're the making fuck. questionable moves right now. And it's like, you look at, if they had somebody else in there, they would have been no bullshit. Fuck what these other people are trying to do to get to us. We're, we're going we're gonna to do it to keep our country safe, you know? And that, that's what I feel like with the whole TikTok thing, too. But, you know, and when you talk about these this for you how music's getting big you gotta think too like how is that gonna get you to promote a song right so you know that's leading into our next topic you know talking about how do you properly promote and distribute a song you know you have a song you know releasing you know it's that clutch nigga i remember when that you feel me that nigga was like yo who that clutch nigga i'm the real clutch <laughs> uh, is that frankie ah <coughs> uh, frankie Yo, I, I just thought of an idea. Me and Frankie got to come out with a collab song called Clutch. That shit would go hard. But that that's the thing. Like, we can promote a song. So you look at TikTok. You look at Instagram Reels. You look at uh, YouTube Shorts. All these things now are using all these different audios and this and that. So when you want to promote a song, you leak at least like maybe like the hook, a little bit of the hook, this and that, to get your audience's attention. You tell them that something big is going to happen. You promote that shit. You send it to people. Get ready for this release. And then, yeah, I know DistroKid uses a, uh, a pre-link or Let something. Let me tell y'all but... something, you feel me? Because I ain't even take this into full effect yet. But you know what I notice? What? The best type of marketing is marketing that doesn't feel like marketing. Exactly. Think about that. It's, it, that, that Think about and that, that. And that goes with anything in life, bro. Like, if you're working a job and you love your job, you know the old saying. <laughs> you, work, you do something you love, you never work a day in your life. Like, you're going to do shit. No, and did it's you get what I said, though? Exactly, yeah. Cause it, it's like not even marketing. You just do it, and it's no. It's like, feel like it. the way you like when I start really going crazy with my promotion and shit. Cause right now I'm just in the process of really like, I'm dropping some shit on SoundCloud, whatever, like song here and there, like throwaways and shit. But when I really start dropping on all DSPs, bro, 
Like, I, I'm trying to come up with a marketing plan. That's why I ain't even dropped yet. You feel me? Yeah. But the reason why I say the marketing, like, the best type of marketing is marketing that doesn't feel like marketing is because people, like, it's like if people see some shit and it's not, like, it's in their face, like, like you feel me, like, saying, oh, like, fucking click the link in my bio or some yeah. shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, er like, everybody says that. Like, you gotta, like... Find some shit that catches people's attention where they'll automatically see that shit and want to go to your link where you don't exactly. Even you gotta like, just throw it in their face. You gotta like me? keep it yeah. in. The, like you know, like like for example, like uh, Ice Spice. Like, I, no one knew who Ice Spice was a few months ago. Now every single thing on, you know, World Star or rap or this night, all Ice Spice shit. For example, like that's just being thrown in your face. That's just how the marketing is. It's like you gotta throw it in their face and force it in them. You know, like type shit. You know, but um. That's just how you got to promote shit. And like, you know, it's all about having connections too. And, you know, knowing how to use your connections in the right way. You know, like with, with uh, me and Gio, we had our song Blaming Myself. And that song, I had connections in, you know, the industry, different things where I could promote it to one person. They do their promos. You know, they do it to somebody else. And then somebody else hears it, gets in contact with me. So, for example, um, I have a friend over at the, uh, the NBA who uh, we uh, we were in talks for a while about having me put some songs on because I had Bobby Nader, the song I did about Bobon, be played in, you know, when he was on the Pistons, it was played in Detroit, LA, Staples Center, I think it's Crypto Arena, whatever it is now, but uh, it was played there, it was played in Philly, my boy DJ goes over there. Um, it was played in all these arenas. So I got into contact with him, I'm like, look, I got this new song dropping, you know, I'm really passionate about it. What's the chances that we can get this shit played in arenas? And he's like, well, can you send it to me? Get Let me get back to you, this and that. So I sent it to him. He fell in love with it. He says the hook was amazing. You know, the storyline was great, but of course the hook is what's going to grab people in, you know? And so he's like, yo, can you make the can you make some of these parts clean? Because, you know, we didn't have a clean version. I said, I got right on it, made it clean. He talked to his executives over there, distributors and shit, and he gets back to me maybe like, like a week or so later. He sends me an email. He's like, I'm proud to announce that we're gonna be able to distribute this to all the different DJs in the arenas. We'll be partnering, blaming myself with the NBA, and we're gonna be also in talks with getting the song played on ESPN and uh, Turner Sports when they transition into commercial break. So like if there's like a commercial break, they show a highlight before they go to commercial break, and they have a song playing in the background, and it would be blaming myself. Yeah. And we're still in talks with that right now because it takes a lot more with like FCC type shit and all that, but yeah. that's a big thing. And then that leads to other people hearing it, sure. other people doing yeah. shit, and you sure. know having OVO Radio ask me for a uh, for the um, for clearance to play the song, yeah. and OVO Radio that that's Drake's radio station, and that's on uh, Sirius XM. So then that leads to Shade Forty Five, that's Eminem's radio station, wanting to use the song too. They played my song. Uh, local stations, uh, 105 one played it, um, and uh, 97 one played it. I had you know connections over 97 one. I sent them the song, I'm like, mom playing it, and they're like, of course, you know, earning people's respect and showing them that you know you fuck with them will give you respect and they'll do whatever for you. Like, if you don't have that established connection, you're not gonna get what you want. Like, if, if I was some random guy saying, play my song, they're not gonna do it. You got to establish a connection with people that are doing shit in this industry in order for you to get that so me being able to do that already and promote myself that way is getting me these big things getting me also genius number two and you guys can do that shit too out there like look at me i'm frago said i look like a fucking used diaper right now i'm white boy talking about some you know crazy shit on a song but it got big i knew i could get it big because you have that determination motivation and the you know the talent is as well as you know the connections and you make those connections guys you could be just as you know successful as me right now and i'm not even at my top peak yet so if you guys have anything else to say on that you know no, you got it you really finished it off nice yeah you know like any anyone can do this you know like you look at these no nah, just put dedication and time into it you gotta yeah. spend money to make money feel me because yeah, i make i spent you so much risk money your life to make a life Exactly. Oh God. Cause these people nowadays are yeah, like they think. My phone. <laughs> uh, here's the thing too, like people think it's like shit gets handed to them. They see like they make a TikTok and it blows up. They think it's all handed to them. No, people actually put in hours work. Look, I I worked almost eight months on blaming myself. Y'all thought I was crazy for making a song wait eight months, but 
it paid off, right? We're getting all this shit. Look, I wanted that shit to perfection. Like, I'm a perfectionist. I'll admit it. You know, but I marketed it right. I did what I had to do right. And it paid off in the long run. So if you guys are at a standstill, you guys are thinking, you know, this is not going to work. Or, you know, you have people that are like, you know, oh, like, you know, you're not going to do this. They're telling you to do it a way that you don't want to do it. You want to do it your way instead of their way. Do it your way. Go with your gut. Because I had these two guys telling me, do it this way, do this way. Like, drop it now. Like, no, I want to do it when I feel comfortable with it. What did I say, drop it now? When you were like, you're taking too long with the song, bro. Like, no, I'm saying, they, like, you just got to make more music. Yeah, no, no, I was talking about Blaming. We're talking about Blaming. Remember when I was taking too long with it? You were like, bro, when no, are you going to No, but you do got to start making more music. Yeah, no. And guys, I'm dropping more music. We're going to, after this podcast, we're going to go over to Geo's and, you know, work on some shit. You know, like I said, like, there was, there, hey, listen, there was a, hey, look, there was, hey, that's what, you said, yo, tell you shit. I didn't, I didn't No, I said I have my laptop on me. So we could cook if you we want. Could. I didn't I'm, say I Geo's, though. You feel me? You got to figure out where, but. I mean, that's well, we up are to at the studio right now. So <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I mean, at the same time, too, it's like, look, you know, and I'm looking back. I'm like, look, I went through some shit. You know, I didn't talk to y'all for a while. I had to do what I had to do personally. And now it's, you know, I look back. I'm like, shit, that was my fault, you know, for putting myself in those positions. But now it's like, look, we went through our shit, learned from my our face. mistakes. Shit. But like, we learned from that. And I'm like, look, now, like, I really want this shit. Now. Like, I want to be able to live my dream bro like, like yeah. y- y'all know this shit too like i was five years old rapping in the mirror thinking i was selling out msg i want that you know we can do this we have the platform we have the the talent to do it we just got to make it happen and that happens with anyone you have that eight go out and do it oh eight eight oh eight <laughs> really so uh now we can get into another topic here we got um uh Pretty much, almost everything's done. We got pretty much left. We have this the 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 scare story. We got something with partying. I got stuff with Bobby, and I got shit. You really covered Bobby. all that up, to be honest. What you said the shit about Bobby already? I didn't say anything about Bobby. Yeah, you did. I did. Yeah, you did. It's pretty good. You did. No, I said Bobby Nader. I said with the song with Bobby Nader. I didn't talk about like meeting him and shit, but like that's that's something different. But and then I have the scare well, save shit. something to do with Griffin. Yeah, that I wanted to do. You know what? Griffin is going to be the whole fight thing. I'll tell, right. I'll tell the whole fight. was. Uh, what else do you want to talk? I mean, I got the thing with Andrew Tate, too. I mean, I don't know about that. But like, I feel like that's old, though. Like, yeah, it's getting old now. Like, if, if anything new Everybody comes Everybody and their mom spoke Nobody about Nobody cares Andrew about Tandrew Tate no more. <laughs> Free top G. Tandrew Tate. I mean, that, was, that, that ended up... The last oh, half was actually good. God. Last that half was funny. good, bro. Yo, me freaking out. I kind of like played that shit off a little bit. I was like, yo, yeah. y'all motherfuckers gotta stop with that shit. It was you cool. Shit you, want. you want me to turn it off? That Apollo is so sexy. Bro. <laughs> Not yeah, really bro. Shit. <coughs> My bad, but for going off, I was like, shit. I was like, that's content right there, you know? Live here at Smooth Studios, Eddie Clutch's podcast, Clutch Talk, Clutch Time Podcast, whatever you want to call it. Episode two here. I got my guys T.Y.O. Fuego and J. Morris XO yeah. in the cut. Got my boy Mixed by Smooth on the camera. You know, we gonna get shit popping today, yo. Talking a lot of crazy shit today. Get this shit lit. Get this shit popping. You know the wave. Let's get into it. So, um, first thing, you know, it's like, you know, we had this episode yesterday. It was really, really fun. <laughs> You know, we were we were a little disorganized. You know, it's the first episode. We're gonna get some shit weird. You know, but it's all about you know learning from your mistakes and and making yourself better. Just look at all of us here. You know, like shit. Like I've known you guys for the last year or two. We were chilling, doing music and shit. Look, I I met Smooth about like six years ago. Type shit. Like you know, imagine if I never met Smooth, yo. Like if that fight never happened in Manalapan, I never would have fucking met Smooth, you know. Like, and that wouldn't have led me to you guys, you know. So. Wait, what fight? I hear this spot. What you mean? Like the camera don't don't. That'll be a good stuff. idea, cause I'll be like, yo, like imagine if I never met Smooth type shit, like. Imagine- Basketball oh, team. Shit. <laughs> yeah, Smooth was on the high school basketball. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I've never been here. I, I thought I thought you were here before. Nah, you was here with Stony. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I pulled yeah. up for like a second. Alright, so let's go this over. Like, we'll, 